The Chinese Spring Festival is a holiday with many entertaining activities for people of all ages. Chinese and people from across the world perform dragon dances, grand fireworks displays, streets festivals, crafts, parties, live music and many other entertaining events. China's ambassador to Namibia, Zhao Weiping, conveyed his expectations during the new year, expressing hope for engaging in numerous activities and accomplishing significant achievements in Namibia. For, for this year, you know, we, uh, we hope to uh, promote our uh, exchange and cooperation, uh, especially in the area of uh, agriculture and uh, education. I think uh, we, uh, we hope very much we can uh, uh, do, uh, do more to uh, contribute to your own efforts in uh, improving your uh, education, uh, educational infrastructure. Yeah. And uh, you know, the, the, the four schools we are, uh, four school projects we are currently working on, they, they already finished actually. So they can be uh, hand, handed over to uh, our Namibian people for, for, uh, for their benefits very soon. According to the statistics provided by the Chinese Embassy, between January and September 2023, China Namibia bilateral trade volume reached 1 billion US dollars, an increase of 29% over 2022. Additionally, Wei Ping noted ongoing efforts to address quarantine related issues concerning the import of Namibia's agricultural and aquatic products into China. He expressed optimism that these challenges will be resolved earlier this year. Minister of Labor, Industrial Relations and Employment Creation, Utoni Nuyoma, emphasized Namibia's commitment to underscoring the significance of international trade as a catalyst for economic growth and development. Uh, China is hungry for raw materials, is hungry for, for so we must strategize as uh, so that we, we maximize benefits. So that's the strategy. has assisted Namibia since independence with scholarships. Many Chinese uh, Namibian students were trained in China, but uh, that is not enough. We have to, we have this cooperation they call FOCAC, uh, China-Africa Cooperation. And you have seen that now they have the biggest investment in the mineral sector here in Namibia, in the whole of Africa. And you have seen also, but what we want the, the Chinese to do is to impart this knowledge to Namibians. He emphasized that the presence of the Chinese business community in Namibia serves as a testament to a relationship built upon a strong foundation of friendship and solidarity. Yolene Chapella, NBC News, Vanduk.